This is our last video in video 6a series. Um, this one we're going to be finding circumference, diameter, and radius, and the relationships between those three things. So just a reminder, guys, when we are thinking about finding all of these things, I want you to make sure that you're able to find both the exact answers, which remember are going to have that straight equal sign, and approximate answers which are going to have the straight, or excuse me, the squiggle equal sign. So just be aware that you're going to need to find both, okay? So going back to our vocab sheet on the first page, if you need to go back to that video, go ahead. But a reminder of what our two formulas are for this entire set of problems here, and that is that the circumference is going to be equal to 2 pi r or circumference will equal pi times diameter. So depending on what type of original information you're given is going to tell you which of those two formulas you should actually be using. So for looking at part A here, we're given that the radius is 7 centimeters and we want to find the circumference. So so we're looking at example four from your textbook and we're given some initial conditions and we need to find the circumference, the diameter, or the radius depending on what they ask for. So in part A, we are given that the initial condition that we know is the radius. So it makes sense that we're going to use the version of the circumference formula which involves the radius. And we're going to substitute in what we know. This time we know the radius is seven. So two pi times seven is going to give me that my exact circumference is just 14 pi and then that the approximate circumference is using my pi key on my calculator is going to be 43 and it did say round um, to the nearest hundredth I believe so that's what will make our um, pattern as we do all these problems when we're doing approximations to the nearest hundredth okay so 43.98 and that is centimeters for both. So that's if I start with radius. In the second example, as you can see, we're starting with the diameter. So we're not going to use the 2 pi r formula, we're going to use the pi d formula because that makes sense. So circumference is going to equal pi times 12.5 in parentheses this time. Exact circumference will just be, notice each time it's exact, it keeps that pi symbol in there. Exact is going to keep the pi symbol in there, and then the approximate is where you're going to get the decimal. So 12.5 times pi gives me 39.27, and the units on that one is inches for each one. Last one of this kind, then we'll do another uh, round of these examples. Um, first, we are given uh, circumference this time, and we're asked to find both the diameter and the radius. So in this case, I always go with the easier of the two formulas, which is circumference equals pi d, but this time substituting in what I know, 136.9 is going to go in for c. And so this time, remember, pi is a number, so if I have pi times d equals some number, then to solve for it, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to divide both sides here by pi, actually. So on your calculator, you're going to take and you're going to divide to get the diameter, the 136.9, divided by, and then your pi key. And that should give you 43.58, and that's meters for the diameter. So what do I do to go from diameter to radius, remember? I simply cut it in half, and so half of the diameter there is 21.79. So that's what we have for our first set of examples for finding circumference and diameter and radius. We've got another set of examples. This one's not in your textbook, but you can see the initial conditions that are given for you there. And so we're going to go through and do the same type of problems. Um, Again, we're given radius in this first part of example 4b part a, so it makes sense to use 2 pi r as a formula. If we know the radius, we're going to substitute it in, 
and then we're simply going to multiply. We get 26, excuse me, 26, and that is times pi still because we're doing exact here. Remember, straight equal sign should be having a pi symbol in it for that answer, and our units are inches here again. Second step, getting an approximation with the calculator. That's going to give us 81.68 inches. Part B, this time we know diameter. So C equals pi D is our formula. Plug in what you know. C is going to equal pi times 6. So the exact answer is 6 pi millimeters. And the approximation is what 6 times the pi key gives you. So in this case, that's 18.85 millimeters. Then our very last example, part C here, we're going to take, again, and use the simpler of the two formulas since we're asked to find both the diameter and the radius, and we're given the circumference just like before. Plug in what I know, 65.4 is going to equal pi d. To get d alone, we're going to divide 65.4 by the pi key on my calculator. d is going to give me 20.82, and this is feet, our units. And then to go from diameter to radius, cut it in half, 10.41 feet. The last type of problem we're going to go over in this video here, which is talking about circumference, diameter, and radius, is to use other figures to find exact circumference here. Um, on the exact circumference of P, we've got our circle with a diameter coming across like this. Pretend that's straight. <laughs> and then out of that diameter, is made kind of a rectangle, if you will. This corner angle here, we're told, is a 90 degree angle, and we're given some measurements that this cord right there is 5, and this cord is 12. So I hope that you can see within this picture a right triangle coming across, and to interpret that in terms of diameter, the diameter is the same as the hypotenuse of the circle excuse me, the hypotenuse of the triangle. And I hope that you can also recognize that this is a 5, 12, 13 Pythagorean triple right triangle, which we've worked with for a while with Pythagorean theorem. So it should come as no shock to you that our diameter is 13 in this case. Using that value with our pi d formula for circumference, the circumference is very quickly just 13 pi and then we want to make sure that we're in um, centimeters, which is what our measurements from our textbook were given to us on the diagram initially. So that's our answer there. Exact is what they wanted, and so we've got 13 pi centimeters. One more kind of like that, um, using another situation where I see in my diagram here I've got um, a right triangle coming across through my diameter and another radius coming out this way. This is circle K and we want to find the um, entire circumference of circle K. So the measurement that we're given this time is the hypotenuse of this triangle. And what you need to know about this triangle is that because the two legs here of my right triangle are radii, Radii are always going to be congruent to each other. So if we pull off that triangle diagram, if the radii are congruent, I hope you can see, oops, 3 radical 2, that this is a 45, 45, 90 triangle. And so in that case, the hypotenuse is going to equal the leg times radical 2. So I hope you can see that the leg there has to automatically be 3. 
and um, that means the radius is the same as a leg, and so the radius is 3, and using the radius to find again exact circumference, because I know radius this time, circumference is 2 pi r, plug in what you know, 2 pi times 3, and the exact circumference is going to be 6 pi units. And there you have it. Please make sure that you go on to the end of this WISC um, page here, um, to your yellow page, which has to do with your on your own examples. Those need to all be completed tomorrow when I check your WISC, um, and good luck to you. Bye.